What's up everyone? I'm Firecat and in this tutorial I'm going to go over a few basic moves for light whipping. I'm also going to start off by talking about my philosophy around the different ways of light whipping. I personally like to use a single whip. I use a fiber flies pixel whip. Some people like to use two whips which allows you to do more koi like moves. Um, I personally like to do one whip and do a style that I call closed circuit, which means I'm always holding one end of the whip or pulling one end of the whip with my body. This can also allow me to transfer to some open circuit moves where I let one end of the whip become open and dangle on its own. I'm still holding the other end. This I call split whip. It's kind of like a mesh between open and closed circuit. It also allows you to almost do different forms of like a contact juggling that I find because you are pulling this object, moving it around your body and letting it follow the energy of your movements. There's also another style that I've found people use called uh, rope dart where you can do stuff like this. You can also do poi like moves. This is also an open circuit form of whip, but it's reversed and the handle is on the outside. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna go over some basic body tracing moves. One of the first things you can do is start by getting used to having the whip pull over your arm. This is how I generally start most of my moves. The next step would be spinning it in a circle on your arm. Pretty simple. You can play around with how wide you spin the circle. You can get it down low, you can bring it up high, you can spin it more slow, you can spin it really fast. The next step you can do is practice some transitions into getting this moving circle around your body. So if you simply pull your arm out while you're spinning the circle, you can see it breaks the circle and pulls the whip back. The next step would be try pulling it back behind your body. So it now ends up behind your back. You can then pull it back around forward and you've now begun a torso body trace. So when I do this body trace, I'm pulling the whip over my arm, pulling the whip and my arm behind my back, and then I'm pulling this arm back over the whip and then pulling it back around forward. I'm going to do it from this side too. So from here, arm comes over, pull it back forward, over, forward. It's kind of like you're sewing and the whip is your string, your arm is the needle. You can think of your body almost like a violin bow, and this whip is the strings that you're pulling back and forth over this bow as if your body's an instrument, and that's how you make visual music with this flow prop. You can practice pulling it down your legs, back up your body. You can go from circle in the front circle in the back. So another thing you can do too with this circle is you can stop it, grab it, and you can now use this closed circle to do some single-handed work. You can transition out of the circle by sewing the hole and then pulling it off your arm, and then going into your body tracing. I like to call the circle cycling. This is like you're cycling a, a bicycle wheel. And that's it for my tutorial. Thanks for watching.